Today I decided to take the canoe out instead of a kayak, and we had just had a pretty gnarly cold front, so I didn't expect to catch any fish, which probably made this an appropriate vessel. The places you can explore in this canoe can be very shallow, and I was going out solo, so what I did first is I took the seat that is normally in the front of this canoe, and I unbolted it, and I turned it around. It's nice that Pelican thought this part through, and the seat made a nice place for uh, little critters to hide, <clears throat> so it seemed. Anyways, with the seat now facing backwards, um, I could take it out by myself and be closer to the center. This boat is symmetrical, the front and the back are the same, so it didn't really matter. And with just me in it, I could float along until I was in about four inches of water. Not too shabby. That's pretty incredible considering how much this vessel can hold. It's rated for up to three people, or about 800 pounds. That's a lot of stuff that you can fit in this thing. Today I was taking it into some skinny backwaters, and before long I saw what I was after. I see fishes. See that out there? Man. Big school. And I can see they don't look like they're swimming like mullet. They don't look like they're frenzying. But I might be able to change that. Everywhere I looked, I saw dorsals and tails coming up out of the water. I used a kayak paddle to pull myself over towards them. But although I was casting right in the middle of a school of a whole bunch of fish, it didn't seem to be working. From a seated position, I would go from place to place. If you're in a canoe, you know, you can use a J stroke, which is paddle back and then it turns into a rudder for a second. This way you don't have to go back and forth with the paddle and get everything wet on the inside. You can see the nose starts to go off to the right and then as I switch to the back of the J-stroke the nose comes back to the left. This way I just keep on paddling on one side. Thanks to my friend Andre for teaching me that, what seems like forever ago. In real life, as I was fishing, I saw fish chasing the lure. Well, they would follow it at least, so it kept me trying and trying over and over again. I thought they were jacks, which don't always eat, but are usually pretty ravenous. But today, it did not seem to be working again. But I didn't give up. I just J-stroked myself off to a different spot where they were literally trying to jump out of the water after my lure. And still I couldn't catch one. They say that uh, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, ex expecting different results. <laughs> Except in fishing where you're expected to do the same thing over and over again and continually hope for a different result. Today, persistence I don't think was my problem because I tried and I tried and I tried. But it was looking more and more and more like I wasn't going to be able to find a fish to show to you guys on camera. This show was a very beautiful spot, and I was a little reluctant to leave even though there were no fish. But it was cold this day, probably in the 40s, and my knees were starting to ache. And I had an idea for something that would be able to alleviate all this paddling. 
which isn't the easiest thing when you're by yourself in a canoe. Paddling, J-stroking, push-pulling, whatever you call it. I had an idea that I thought would be a lot of fun. And I can already see it in my mind's eye. Well, I was headed back out, and I was going to leave this paddle behind. I still had the kayak paddle, just in case. But more than anything, I just wanted to see if this silly idea was going to work, and save the day from the no-fish blues. The idea was that I would be able to steer by either going forward or backwards with one motor or the other, just like you would a twin-engine inboard boat. If it worked, I thought I might cut the heads off of these motors and permanently mount them and... Well, let's just wait for that. This was actually a lot of fun. It was steering just like my big boat did. One in forward, one in reverse, it was like a zero turn mower. It even acted exactly the same way the big boat did when I was trying to come in and dock the boat. No steering at all, all throttle. One forward, one back, and it would spin you right up to the dock. All right. Yeah, this worked pretty cool, but I guess if I'm really gonna take this to fruition, I gotta take this vessel in and get it registered and uh, I'm gonna have to build like a steering wheel onto it and hmm, hate to ruin that shallow draft that this canoe has. I'm curious what do you think? Would you continue with this project or would you keep a canoe simple? I'm also curious how many of you guys out there ever tried canoes? I'll look for your thoughts in the comments section. <laughs>